This lecture is organized by Dr. Alemi and narrated by Yara Alemi. The lecture is based on the Open Intro Statistics book. Statistics is three things. How best to collect data. How should it be analyzed? And what can we infer from the analysis? This section, this section introduces a classic challenge in statistics, evaluating the efficacy of an intervention. We introduce terms and give an overview of the role of statistics. More details will be given later. Let us start with an example. Is stent effective? There are two ways to answer this question. In the first approach, patients are randomized, and some receive and some do not receive stent and then the two groups are compared. One group is called treatment and the other called control. Randomization is difficult to do. People do not want to be denied the benefits of STEN just so that, they can, so that you can study them. In the second approach, patients receive the care that they decide with their doctors. After the fact, Patients who received stent are compared to similar patients who did not receive stent. Here, cases are matched on age, severity of illness, and other characteristics so that they are most similar. We can then count the difference in outcomes between cases and controls. In both approaches, we summarize the outcomes by calculating a statistics, such as the proportion of the group that had a stroke. In calculating, a statistics, in, in calculating a statistic, we face the problem of deciding if the outcomes in the treatment and control groups are different enough to not be due to random chance variation. Statistics helps us answer this question. Here we see that among the 224 patients who received stent, 45 had a stroke. Among the 227 who did not receive stent, 28 had a stroke. The rate of stroke in the treatment group is 0.2 or 20%. The rate of stroke in the control group is 0.12 or 12%. These rates are referred to as summary statistics. An interesting question arises. Is the 8% observed difference in the rate of strokes real? In other words, if we repeat our study, we would get a different set of numbers. It is possible that the 8% difference is due to natural variation in rate of strokes and has nothing to do with whether the patient had or had not received stent. Statistics is the science of establishing whether observed differences are real or due to chance. Statistics helps us understand if cases and matched controls, or treatment and controls, have real differences that will persist in repeated measurement and analysis.